was before I arrived, Professor Dodge. They forced me to reveal the code key to the plans for my electronic firebolt. With that machine, they can break into any safe or vault in the country. Now, that's probably just what they plan to do. Some mysterious device which burns through steel and concrete, thieves last night broke into the Hammond Art Galleries. Many of the world's most priceless paintings, old masters, irreplaceable originals were removed. The daring safe breakers are still at work. Their latest objective was the home of Jacob Mortimer, the famed collector. Rare manuscripts and first editions of inestimable value have disappeared. Insurance losses to date have already exceeded a million dollars. Public demand for action is mounting, and law enforcement agencies seem unable to cope with the strange menace. I'm getting enough criticism from the mayor without listening to any more of that. Pretty bad. That electronic firebolt is a powerful weapon in the hands of criminals, but I think we can stop them now. You mean if that machine that Professor Dodge is really locates the firebolt? You can depend on Professor Dodge. His locating device will be finished today. And the next time they use that firebolt, We'll have a chance to trap the Scarabs gang. At this rate, you'll soon have every art treasure and antique of the city. Don't be too confident. The district attorney is no fool, and Professor Dodge is a very competent scientist. <laughs> they haven't stopped us yet. No. But I must learn what their plans are. You're going at once to find out what's happening at the district attorney's apartment in the Winston Arms. Finished? All except the installation of the thyrotron tubes, which must be fitted by the skilled technicians of the Munson Laboratories. And as a precaution, Mr. Gardner wanted to take the control unit to the laboratories himself. I'll tell him it's ready. Get me the district attorney. District attorney. This is Professor Dodge, Mr. Gardner. Control unit for the firebolt locator is ready for the lab work. Excellent. I'll be there in an hour to pick it up. Looks interesting, Professor. Are you sure it'll work? Positive, Mr. Gardner. With the thyrotrone tubes installed, we can locate the electronic firebolt wherever it is used. I'll take this to the laboratories, get the tubes installed, and be back here before dark. Clancy, you better stand guard out in the hall. Yes, sir. Grant Carr. I've got to warn him. H.I. M.A. calling H.I. Come in, M.A. The job's finished. The stuff will make his motor heat up. And as soon as it hits the boiling point, the car will explode like a bomb. Here he comes.
Highway Patrol, District Attorney speaking. I'm traveling north on Route 50. License 8K5047. Notify all police in vicinity to stop and detain occupant of station wagon trailing me. District Attorney, license number 8K5047. Traveling north, trailed by station wagon. Got it. I'm trying to overtake the DA. Someone's tampered with his car. I'll phone headquarters to flash him a radio warning. That's right, the district attorney's car. Calling District Attorney Gardner, urgent. Come in, please. County speaking. What's wrong? Examine your car for trouble. It's been tampered with. Thanks. I'll check it. safe. So is the control unit for Professor Dodge's locating device. The scarab won't know that. I'll prepare a headline that'll convince him it's still safe to use the firebolt. Let's go. Mystery car explosion injures DA. Scientist locating device unit destroyed. <clears throat> so, we were successful. Now we can proceed with our attack on the National Platinum Company's refinery vault without interference of the district attorney. We know the thieves will use the stolen firebolt again. And when they do, its electronic radiations will illuminate this bulb. Then I have run the pointer along the contact points. When I make a contact on the area where the firebolt is working, that light will start flashing. Look, the electronic firebolt is being used somewhere. Now's our chance to locate it. Gardner's a brave man. I'd feel much happier if Captain America were with him. <laughs> 